Hey guys, so recently I got my Yongnuo 50mm 1.8 and uh, Yongnuo 35mm 2.0. I haven't seen lots of reviews on YouTube about these two lenses, so here I am going to make this new this video um, talking to you about the build quality, um, image quality, price, where you can get them, and how they've held up this couple of days. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start with the 50 millimeter 1.8. So the build quality is plasticky, and it feels like like if it falls, it would break. So you have to be really careful with it. It actually feels like like a hollow kind of plastic. So you know you get what you pay for. But with the image quality, it has right really nice image quality and the bokeh is really really great I found that the the autofocus motor inside is actually really noisy and slow kind of kind of slow so if you really if you're looking for a fast lens that has great autofocus this may not be the one but the 35 millimeter um, 2.0 actually is pretty fast and the build quality is pretty great it's actually a harder kind of plastic with some texture on it and right now this is my favorite lens since this since both of these cameras are crop censored sensor well 35 millimeter if you do the math it's kind of 50 millimeter and the 50 millimeter is almost 85 millimeter so it's actually kind of a bigger zoom than the 35 millimeter with the with the 50 millimeter I found that the bokeh is pretty great the bokeh on the 35 millimeter is is great but it's not as um, pronounced as the 50 millimeter so if you're looking for a great bokeh lens the the 50 millimeter is the one for you okay so I've had this len these lenses for a couple of days now and I've, I've managed to get some pretty good shots which I'll include um, in the video um, I'll also put my Flickr account with that um, all of my pictures were all all of my pictures almost all of them were taken with these two lenses and to be honest, they're pretty great. Um, another thing is that the 50 millimeter, the the adapter for the camera, the connector, is actually plastic. So after a few years of taking it on, pu putting it on, and taking it out of the camera, it's gonna break at some point. With the 35 millimeter the connector is actually made of metal so I think it will um, will with withstand some abuse for many many more years than the 50 millimeter anyway for the price you can get 250 millimeters and break one and continue using the other because you know there are 50, 50 bucks on eBay if I'm not mistaken I'll put the link right down below so am I happy with the with my purchases? Yes, yes, I am very happy with them. The first you have to be really careful cuz the first um 50 mm I got was actually cracked on the front element of the glass. So be careful with that. Also, when you get the lens, it has a clear plastic on it. So remember to take it off cuz it has um, uh, clear plastic in the front element and the back element so if your pictures turn out um, pretty crappy it's because you didn't take the plastic off the instructions um, are actually they come Chinese so yeah but yeah you know there are lenses they are lenses so they are pretty easy to to install and do everything you want to do so 
that's it guys I hope this um, video was pretty helpful to you I will now put some put some um, pic pictures on the video pictures I took with these lenses and now I'm gonna demonstrate how each of these lenses look I'm going to take th that lens off of the camera and install the 35 millimeter right now so you can see how it how I look with the 35 millimeter and how I look with the 50 millimeter so I'm gonna do it right now Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm actually pretty zoomed in right now that we're using the 35mm right now at the 2 f the f2 stop. Um, the quality, the image quality is pretty great. I'm pretty happy with it. With it. So now let's change to the 50mm right now so you can see how much zoom it has compared to the 35mm. So yeah guys, this is the 50mm lens, so you can see the difference between the 35mm and the 50mm. It actually has a bigger zoom and a wider aperture, so you can, great, you can get better bokeh and better video when you have low light issues. So yeah, that's all. Right now I'm going to put some um, test pictures I took with the with both of these lenses so you can compare the two and decide if you're, these are the lenses for you. If these are not the lenses for you, you can get the Canon um, you can get the Canon ones of the of these lenses but they are more expensive so it all comes down if you're if you want to really pay more for the lenses or not. What I've seen with both of, the, both of these lenses is that the Yongwa 1.8 50mm feels exactly like the Canon 50mm they may have um, image um, different image quality but not that percep perceptible so if you really aren't serious with your pictures and stuff you don't really need the Canon and you can get the Yongnuo and and use the money you you save from not buying the Canon and use it for other stuff that you need so yeah that's it the 35 millimeter right now feels the best from all from both of these two lenses so if you if you really want a great lens for wider shots and more variety of stuff get the 35 oh and one thing the 35 is a lot a, a bit more expensive than the 50 millimeter so so keep that in mind Hey guys, so we're now recording with the 35mm and I'm going to include right now um, video footage and test pictures of the both of these lenses. Also, I'm going to make a, a small um, segment where I show you the noise they both make when they autofocus and the speed they um, the, their speed when they autofocus so you can see how slow or how fast they autofocus depending on the situ situation and if you're on video or camera mode so let's get right to it right now we have the 35 millimeter lens and we're going to make the and we're going to make the test sound the uh, sound test so here we go as you can see it actually autofocuses really fast and doesn't make a lot of noise So right now let's get to the 50 millimeter part. Fifty millimeter lens. Let's see how fast it out of focus is.
as you can see it actually sounds a bit higher and takes a bit more to out of focus So yeah guys, now let's get to the to the part where we where I show you the the, the pictures and the videos I took with the, both of these lenses and you can choose which one is better for you. I will also leave um, links down in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. So let's get right to it. <laughs> 